Can you use the remote to turn the volume up? Turn it on. That's boring. Yeah. Sure. All right. So right now we're just looking at question one of the 2022 AIML paper. So problem statements here. So uh, sorry. So problem statements here. So we have a three-digit number A, B, C, where A, B, and C are the digits of our three-digit number. And when we multiply it by three, we get a four-digit number, C, zero, B, A. So what this means, C is in the thousands digits, zero, hundreds, B, tens, A units digit. So how would we approach this? Well, for, first of all, like what we know is we'll do some basic bounding. So I think I've heard being discussed around here. So you said something about like, oh, it's it's at least this value. So what value did you get? Your ABC is at least. Uh, three, four, five. Because, um, it has to be a four-digit number, and the digits have to be different. Uh, is the last, is the last digit has to be a one. So when it's times divided by three, the last digit will always be the same. Does it have to be one? What happens if it's a two? What happens if it's a two and A is like seven? Won't we get a four digit number that starts with two? Like, but just like hypothetically, like. Um, I think I have something. Yeah, well. Um, the ABC number, it has to be at least 401. Because they all have to be different numbers, and mm. it's multiplied by three, and four hundred one multiplied by three is at least like a four-digit number. Mm. But can you get something lower? Like, I like what I think Michael's observation was the like best. The best. Yeah, was the best thing to start off with. Because we know that the three-digit number, we need a three-digit number when you multiply it like by th three, you get a four digit number. So we get like three times ABC is, this is at least 1000. So we get that ABC is at least 1000 on three and 1000 on three, this is like 333.33 dot dot dot. Yeah, so it's basically our ABC it's greater than 333. A, B, and C are all different digits. And then if you have that restriction, it basically gets you, oh, our A, B, C is at least, I think it's 341 because yeah. yeah. But, but um, this is our, like, this is the first thing we observe. Like when you go into question, okay, we want, we want, the, if, we, if this were to be true, oh, let's just look. It just has to be a forged number, has to be this. But, oh, uh, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, no, it's greater or equal. Yeah, sorry. Wait. Wait, we could have 340, right? We could have 340. Is that, oh, no, we can't. No, no, no. Yeah, 341. Yeah. But, but, like, in the same way we did this, we can also notice that three times A, B, C. Oh, probably. Like, do you know why it can't be 340? The last digit is zero. Yeah. Wait, and why is that it. bad? I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. How do you know, I know it's the only why. one? I know why. I know why. Just tried How, wha but like, you know why I can't be 340? Why? Because 340, if it times by 3, then it would be ending with a 0. And, 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 and it starts with 3, if it's called ABC. And then so this first number is going to be it, and it's three, it ha three has to be at the end because it's A there. Yeah, like, let's so just, yeah. I am smart. Oh, so but, I think it's 920. Mm, okay. So, it's well, 1,020. So, also, like, whatchamacallit, another, th another thing 
I think you'd notice is we bounded, we bounded from like, we got that ABC is at most this value, right? I mean, at least this value. But we also know ABC is a three digit number. Why don't we do it the other way? Right. So we get that three times ABC. This is at, this is less than three times 1000 because ABC is a three digit number, 1000 is a four digit number. So we get that three times ABC is less than 3000. And then since C0BA is three times ABC, we got that C0BA is less than 3000. And what does that mean? Since it's less than 3000, C is either two or one, one or two. And then, so we can all see that. We can all see how it also, can we also all see how we can intuit it? We can all like try, we can all like try to do this. And like, if you see the question, can you see why you'd want to do this? Is that like a yes or a no? Or what? Not really. Like, but you understand, do you understand why we're doing it or like? I guess my question is like, how do we get to do that after the first suggestion? I, I feel like the first suggestion, like, it wasn't like this yeah. and then I give up. Yeah, but I think like my, my like, when we're starting off, like from my perspective, when we're starting off, we'll just look at like the very, very basics. We won't go through like anything too big. We're just looking at, oh, ABC is at most 1000 and C0BA is at least 1000. And then from there, we can like get some easy stuff. But like, so we get, so yeah, that's how we get both of these. And what would, what would we do from here? What oh, call? How do you explain it? But like basically, once you have this, I think it's natural for you to go. Okay, let's see what happens if c equals one. Let's see what happens if c equals two. I guess my question is, yeah. do you have to give them back, right? Because they right. supplied the three point five, right? Yeah. Why? Why couldn't they supply the next thing? Ah, uh, um, did you get this? Well, she she claimed to have sold. Yeah. Yeah, I also yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but like, to me, it sounds more like they just like guess numbers rather than. That's what I want them to. Understand. Yeah. Well, I want them to guess numbers. Yeah. I want to know. What is it? The I don't want that. The number has to be higher than three, three, three. Three thirty four. Then, then I also I also found out that yeah, the, the last digit was probably one. So I tried three forty one, except that that was correct. So I tried three fifty one, and it was correct. Okay, one for the last digit is three for the first digit. Because it's A B C, yeah. and then it's C B A. So therefore, the first digit is a one. My question is, why can't it be? The last digit for the first number, of ABC, yeah. is a one. Then, yeah. no. So, for that theory to work, C has to be either a one or a two. Yeah. And since we're doing, we're trying out for uh, C equals one. Yeah. Then we need to do the last digit of one as well. And then, so we can't use any other numbers for the last one, apart from one. So we get like a b one times three is equal to one zero b a. Yeah, and yeah. we can't use anything else for a, otherwise that would not be one zero. Yeah. It has to be a three. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you, if you want this one zero, you have to have this a is a three. So you get three b one times three is equal to one zero b three. Yeah. And then you can just like, you just plug in the values for b. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, that's fair. And wait, why would it work for two though? Because I tried them and none of them worked. 
Oh, so so you did the same thing for two. Yeah, except I did so, two plus, so I did yeah. So it's like what you do b two times three a b times two times three is two zero b a. C is two and a is six. A is six, right? So what we get? We get that six b two times three is equal to two zero b six. Yeah. And then from there you just try everything, and it just it just doesn't work. Yeah. Honestly, that's fair. Yeah. B. Would be after B. Okay, no, yeah, no, nothing works. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. So like, is that how you all did it? I presume I presume you did something like this. Okay, but it doesn't check anything other than three five one. Huh? Yeah. Thank you, Mister. Little part of the question. Yeah. The question is like, how do you know it's not just three five one? But if you do write three point one on the test, you're gonna write. Yeah. But you will you give yourself like wrong feedback. Yeah. Like you succeeded in something. You didn't succeed. Yeah. Because like I feel like. Can there be more than one answer? Not in this test. But no, like, but. But the question itself would have. Been like, yeah, because they could phrase it like, find the sum of all A, B, C. That's what they usually do when there's more than one answer, and then you don't know if there's just one answer. Yeah. Or did they write that as a trick, and then there's actually only one A C, and you have to plus it by itself, so it's one A C. Six, seven. They sometimes do that. I'm not even. Yeah. They do sometimes do that as well. They actually do. I, I think they do. Because none of them do they? I swear they, they did. Do that. What? I swear I've seen it. I must be wrong. Yeah, I'm probably wrong though. Uh, Unless you were dreaming or you were in a parallel universe. No, I swear, I swear I've seen a question like that. I must be wrong. Yeah. Well, like, just. But like, so like the main principle of like, so if we just guess the answer, like did we just do it like Gabriel, where we just like found a bound and then just started trying to make Bye. it work? So like, okay, let's say we were just guessing the answer, right? We didn't like think of any of this. Yes. Like, like, how did we try to guess the answer? Like. Did we do it more method? Did we do it methodically, or did we just like try and guess like random values? That's my main question. So it's not it's not guessing the answer. You know what I'm it's trying values to understand the question and make progress in the problem. Yeah. yeah. So like, if you think about it as guessing to get the answer, then you're like kind of like doing nothing every time. You know? But if you think about understanding the problem, guessing the wrong answer could still get you to the answer. So, and anyways, do we understand? Do we all understand, like, kind of what we did here? Yeah. 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 All right.